When Omega introduced the vibrant 38mm Aqua Terrace line last year, it quickly became one of my favorite releases of 2022. These watches came in a stunning array of colors and featured a wearable 38mm case. Although there was a considerable delay before they hit the stores, the wait is finally over. In this video, we'll delve deep into this Aqua Terrace lineup, share some updates, explore the unique dial-making process, and provide you with all the essential details. So, let's get started. In this video, our primary focus will be on the new Aqua Terra lineup, a subset of the broader Seamaster collection. These watches blend aquatic themes with anti-magnetic technology, making them a big hit in 2022. Available in 34mm and 38mm sizes, these watches were the talk of the watchmaking world upon their unveiling and are collectively known as the Aqua Terra Shades. They represent Omega's take on the colorful dial trend popularized by the Oyster Perpetual in recent years. Apart from a few subtle changes, a redesigned bracelet, and an innovative dial-making process, these watches were expected to fly off the shelves upon their announcement. However, they took longer to hit the market, partly due to production delays in the new dial-making process. Let's begin with the case and bracelet. Measuring 38mm in diameter, 12.4mm in thickness, and 44.8mm lug-to-lug, these Aqua Terrors are well-suited for most wrist sizes. The 19mm lug width features a new 3-link bracelet design, tapering to 17mm and equipped with a dual-deployment butterfly clasp. The watch maintains the classic Aqua Terra case with signature twisted lugs, a polished case, and a 6mm screw-down crown at 3 o'clock, ensuring 150 meters of water resistance. The highlight of these watches when they were announced was their vibrant dial colors, which included saffron, terracotta, Atlantic blue, bay green, and sandstone. The dials achieve their colors through chemical vapor deposition or physical vapor deposition processes. The terracotta, for instance, is created using CBD, a method usually employed for semiconductors. The process involves chemical treatment, brushing for a sun ray effect, and lacquering for shine and protection. The dials feature angular trapezoidal indices in the classic Aqua Terra hands, with the date windows now featuring an elevated frame, addressing a previous concern. Super Luminova is applied for visibility in low light conditions. The watches are powered by the Omega 88O caliber, part of the brand's well regarded movement technology, featuring a coaxial escapement, exceptional resistance to magnetism, and a high level of precision. In terms of specifications, the watch operates at 25,200 vibrations per hour has a power reserve of 55 hours, and offers hacking and hand-winding functions. Now, let's summarize the pros and cons of this Aquaterra family. On the downside, there's no micro-adjustment in the bracelet, a 55-hour power reserve may lag behind some competitors, and the pricing carries a slight premium. However, the pros include stunning and versatile dial colors, an ideal 38mm size, a comfortable bracelet design, and broad appeal among enthusiasts, and the general market. In conclusion, these Aquaterra watches bring a refreshing splash of color to Omega's lineup. They may not represent groundbreaking innovation, but they offer a stylish and functional option for those seeking a vibrant and versatile timepiece. I've been eagerly awaiting these watches, and I'm excited to share my thoughts. What do you think about them? Share your opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Your support is much appreciated.